hello everyone uh, welcome to tourism in a nutshell in this video we are going to learn about a topic that is connected with airport operation or air transportation that is the turn around operations in an airport we all know uh, about what uh, actually an airport is in simple terms can be said as a place where an airlines or a flight or a carrier lands and takes off where people arrive enter the uh, like air transport vehicle and move to different parts of the world right in simple words so turn around operations is a part that comes under the function of an airport so in this topic let, let us go into the first slide and look at what actually the meaning of the term is turn around operation or uh, you can say set of activities that is connected with the time i am explaining uh, like which is not present in the slide once again so turn around operations in simple terms uh, is that it is set of activities or process that takes place when an aircraft lands at an airport and from the time it lands at the airport to the time it takes a new ride that set of time gap or the gap required or the in between time that is uh, that is where the turn around operation takes place so this is a turn around time of an aircraft the time that passes from landing until take off for a new flight that is time between chocks and chock off uh, in simple words take off or landing and while stationary on the ground the airlines is not making any revenue with plane rather is incur incurring other cost because we all know that uh, uh, in income or revenue generation of an airport comes when people enter an airport and they started to check in uh, buy the ticket or use the basic services then the actual revenue starts the cost actually incurred means the services that any airlines or aircraft has to uh, like do or to pay in order to get some services back for them i'm uh, like currently lecturing in my own words okay so turn around operation a set of activities or process that comes when an airline enters an airport lands and from that after completing one journey and after the entire cycle is over till the next cycle is going to happen that in, in between time is where turn around operation takes place so there are 10 uh, steps for turn around operations number one the aeroplane or the airlines or the carrier moves into the parking position we all know that after uh, completing the entire uh, journey first the airlines arrives at the airport it lands at the runway and after going it after landing the aeroplane uh, is moves to the assigned park position for each and every airlines let it be scheduled or charter has a certain bit of a parking position for them right so when an airlines uh, enter the airport or enter uh, the near landing area the air marshalling is actually done air marshalling is an activity or a process where an airline is guided the way into the airport and where the air marshaller directs them where to park you also you have you have seen it in the you know, like in videos and etc with uh, glowy lights a certain person with headphones that um, reduce sound and signals the air cockpit the pilot where to park right so the first process is the aeroplane moves into the parking position where it lands once it is immobilized and marked off with safety cones then the next thing happens we all know it's part of a ground handling process the uh, turn around operation actually comes under ground handling where the airlines is not at the flight it is with the ground right the first step is the airlines move into the parking position secondly disembarkation of passengers and crew like if you take an example of uh, other modes like a bus or a car or even uh, 
I will like, I will just compare this turnaround operations with a movie theater. We all know that each and every movie theater plays different movies, right? So if a movie is played at 9 a.m., it gets over. It, if it is English movie or Hindi movie, it takes them two hours to complete the entire movie. And after it is completed, the next show uh, is given at 12:30, uh, for example. Then, if it is uh, next show is taken or it's tagged as 12:30, then the first show, which has happened at 9 a.m., gets over at 11:40, right? So from 11:40 to 12:30, you have a intermediate time. That time is used to clean the entire area. People leave the theater, and next, what happens? The cleaning crew comes. They clean the entire theater. They sanitize it, and they make it sure that it is useful for the next person. That is the same thing happening here also. Nothing is new here. So second, disembarkation of passenger and crew means people and the crew members even uh, exit the vehicle. Passengers leave the aircraft through established doors, uh, normally with one of them. And access the gateway. Gateway, in terms of aviation management, is called the or airline transportation or aviation. Gate means the bridge that connects the airport with the airlines. No, that's called the gate. So it people move, they exit the airlines, and crew members all exit the airlines. Now the airline is parked, it's immobilized, and it's vacant. So next, what happens is that cabin cleaning is done. Cabin cleaning means nothing. If all are left, if the plane is parked, then the entire area is cleansed. They are sanitized. The entire area is sanitized. The, the uh, sanitation department looks into your toilets. They clean that area. They remove rubbish. They entire make sure that it is good as new, so that next ride in the next flight it can be useful for the coming passengers. The third step is cabin cleaning. The fourth step is loading and ramp handling. Here, in terms uh, that is that the after the three process, the airline is good for takeoff is ready to accept new people. So what it uh, firstly takes is that not the passengers, but it actually takes it refills the entire thing. The airlines which is ready for next flight refills all the uh, existing resources. They remove the uh, pending one. And each in this point, operators in charge of loading and ramp handling comes into action. And baggages and groups are unloaded and transported. And here, what happens is that after the store, the people are left, the luggages are unloaded and transported. So loading and ramp handling is a process at which the uh, crew members are left or passengers when leave if they leave the cargo session comes and takes the entire luggage onto the airport itself. Thus, to make sure that the entire uh, flight is clean and there's nothing else left. In next point comes with the airline standard operating measures to ensure that weather is safe. Unfortunately, uh, in certain uh, airlines, at the past you have seen that certain standard operating measures had never been taken and it it led into uh, damage or crashes or major things have been happened in the past. You know that, right? So the next thing is that the airline inspects the vehicle. It is inspected, and the actual crew or the area or person in charge looks into the safety and looks whether the aircraft is good for the uh, next flight. The standard operating procedure manual of an aircraft manufacturer determines the safety and checks the routine and even verifies whether it is good to fly or not. If it is not good, they will never use that flight. Or the airlines or the famous airlines uh, regarding. Uh, they all check, they all go through the same operations. In the next point, airlines refueled. The airlines, we actually uh, think that you all know that the fuel tanks uh, are actually like it's refueled because after one journey, the entire ref, uh, the fuel will be half be over. So it is refueled. After uh, all, uh, everybody leaves, it is checked if it is good to fly. Then the airline, the aeroplane is filled with the fuel needed to fly on next flight. Catering and after that, uh, food and beverages are loaded to the airlines for the uh, upcoming passengers and for the new routes in to complete the entire journey. If the journey is going less than four hours, then they won't be adding not that much of foods or anything. If it is a low-cost carrier, uh, there is 
an absence for the scattering area because uh, you know low cost carriers only have seat tickets and other services are just add on catering is done here uh, foods and other materials are added into the vehicle next the suitcases and goods of the coming passengers we have seen in the previous thing that the load loading and ram handling is done here the suitcases and goods the uh, luggage of the guest are uh, refilled an aircraft is emptied the handling agents refill the baggage and cargo for the next flight right then at the last passengers are boarded with all an uh, efficient thing they have checked if all the passengers are checked in properly and they are uh, they board the flight or the carrier from the gateway itself they just enter into it after completing all their tasks the passengers are boarded and what happens is that the airline aeroplane just after getting back everything it just towed to start the runway it is actually guided after passengers are boarded the aeroplane is actually guided finally often held by the pushback trailer as you can see there are trailers or vehicles below uh, the airline area or the aircraft which help them move to the entire area or to the, actually preparing to commence the manual of order to like just guiding the airlines to the runway area after all are boarded the airline is guided to the runway area which helps to uh take off right so these are the entire uh, basic things of an what we say like this are the turn around operation there are 10 modes or 10 steps for turn around operation the time taken for an airplane to empty the passengers or to uh, time taken to refill itself or to cleanse itself or the time taken where the airline is within the ground itself and not making a revenue a time at which it gets ready it's get it get ready for the next uh, upcoming flight right so i hope you have understood the video uh, just a turnaround operation means it's nothing else but a time taken for an airline to start for another journey that's all okay so i hope you have understood the session and thank you for watching this video